What's interesting about this particular town car configuration, it's also a Landau. You'll see in the back it's a convertible uh, top too. Um, the car uh, started out uh, life in, in New York uh, with the Rockefellers and then it made its way down to Huntsville, Alabama where it's been ever since. Um, it uh, went uh, in the late 30s to the head of the Coca-Cola bottling plant in Huntsville and stayed there and then a restoration started in 1953 and while the man passed away he left every piece and part marked so we have everything to it. We have the build sheets, we have everything for it. A lot of people through the years have wanted to do the restoration of this car and uh, our friend Jeff Stopp from Huntsville was kind enough to uh, give us the job so it will be well documented in the Packard magazines and in the AACA and things because this is a real important uh, restoration. There's lots of interesting things that go with the car. Um, one of them, there's projects within projects that I have to do. This is the windshield wiper uh, which goes all the way across so it's a vacuum windshield wiper that will go on top of the, uh, the windshield and so that'll be That'll be a project in itself just to, to get all these things back together. But uh, um, everything is here, all the chrome, all the pieces, so um, we'll be able to do it. We're looking at about um, a year. We really think that uh, we're that's enthusiastic when you have a, a project this size. But with the staff we have, we have a separate facility with our body shop. We're building on another 10,000 square feet here but we'd really like to see this and we'll do everything in-house. While it's a little bit rough, what you can see is what good shape it's in. I mean, it's really a remarkable... This wasn't a lost car then? No. People have known about this. But... People have known about this and it was one of those that you couldn't get and Jeff finally got it out of an estate and uh, was the right guy. And...